welcome back to my channel so <clears throat> I apologize for the quality of this video I cannot find the battery to my real camera so I'm using my iPhone <laughs> as a stand-in because I really 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 wanted to get this video out there so yeah basically in this video I'm gonna be showing you how I do press on nails and I do the ombre effect so this is great for people who one can't afford a full set or their job just doesn't allow them to so you know sometimes you want to pop out on the weekend first and foremost what i will be using is these nails from amazon and i will link it down below but these nails are really handy because they come already in the coffin shape that i like like so i don't know if you guys can see it but it already comes in the coffin shape, which is really exciting for me because coffin shape is literally all that I wear. So I already trimmed my nails down because my nails grow super long. Now I'm gonna take some nail polish and I'm just going to take a cotton round, like so. And just kind of go over my natural nails with it. This is just to help the um, fake nails adhere to my nails better and gets rid of any like dirt grub oil or whatever that's on my natural nails then i'm going to glue the nails onto my actual nails and i already label them like i've already oops i've already fit them to my nails so i've already labeled them like this is for pinkies my middle finger the one next to the pinky the thumb and the pointer finger so i already have them labeled if you can see so i'm gonna go ahead and glue them on and then the glue i'm going to be using is this one from kiss it is the maximum speed nail glue i'm going to be using that to glue these nails on So the base color I'm going to be using is this one from Sally Hansen. It is in the color 203 Buff and Tumble. So I'm going to use this to paint on the base. And you also want to make sure there's like no hair or lint or you know anything like that on your nail because you don't want that to get trapped underneath the polish because it's not going to, you know, it's not going to look good. <laughs> Okay, so we painted the base now we're gonna let this dry for like five minutes and then we're gonna come back and start the ombre okay now that we've let the nail polish dry we're going to take a makeup wedge cosmetic wedge and I got these from Target they were pretty cheap this is what a cosmetic wedge looks like we're gonna be using this side of the cosmetic wedge to do the ombre effect but before we do that we're actually going to take a piece of tape and we're actually going to stick it on to the wedge like this and we are only doing this so that we make sure that we get any kind of piece of hair or lint off of it so that again it doesn't get trapped underneath the polish so to do the ombre, I am going to be using this color from Sally Hansen. It is the color 365 Hard Bitten and it is the sky blue, baby blue color. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, 
I want most of it to be blue. I want most of the ombre to be blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint like most of the makeup wedge lengthwise um, this baby blue color. And you don't want the wedge to be like sopping wet <laughs> with the polish. You want the polish to be even and damp. You still want to see the little holes in the sponge basically when you do this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then after I am done painting on the blue, I'm going to take that buff and tumble color. And I'm going to put that on the bottom half of the makeup wedge. And this is going to help the blue blend in with the base color. Again, you don't want it to be sopping wet, but you do want it to be even and you want it to be damp. So now here is the fun part. <laughs> And also the part that gives me anxiety. We're going to take the makeup wedge and we're going to use this to sponge on the ombre. So we're going to have the sponge facing the way that you want the ombre to be. So we want the, the, the blue to be at the top. So we're going to have our ombre at the top. Um, I'm going to start with this one. So that's how it looks at first. There is like no color. Well, it's a little bit of color, but it's not that apparent. So I just want to do a couple of dabs and then move on. All right. Couple of dabs like that. Then move on to the other one. Couple of dabs. And then move on. All right, that's what it's looking like so far. And we want to make sure that we let it dry for like two minutes before we go in and dab it again. Because if you dab it in when it's still wet, it's just going to smear together. It's going to get all gloppy and gooey and it's not going to look right. So you want to wait like two minutes um, to put the second dab on. Now, mind you, I don't have my other nails on. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this hand just for this video purpose, but if I have both of them on, if you think about it, by the time I've gone through all the other nails, it would be like two minutes until I get back to that. So that's a way that you can judge the time. Also, I also reapply the colors in between each dab not too much you know just a little bit just to make sure that color is still popping all right all right we're gonna go in again with it dab it dab on them okay now i'm sorry <laughs> all right and you see the more we dab with each coat we're gonna do, you're gonna see that color pop more. So, just keep dabbing. I usually do, I dab it like maybe five times, I wanna say, like five to six times. All right, let's go in again. Dab, dab on them. Yes, it's coming together. do one more round then I think we should be good now I will say if you're going to do your nails shorter like um, I usually just wear them at, like they are out the pack because I like long nails 
But if you're someone who doesn't really like long nails and you want to cut them and trim them to your liking, I would say that you should probably get um, the, the things that you can wear around the edge of the nail to protect your skin from the polish because um, since the nail is shorter, it, you know, the sponge is going to get on your finger more because it's shorter. So you just want to keep that in mind. I can kind of get away with not wearing the protectant because these nails are super long. So it's not really touching. <laughs> it's not really touching my actual nail. So I can get away with it. But if you were actually going to wear your nails shorter, I would suggest getting those little thingamajigs, whatever they're called. <laughs> Now we have our ombre. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this clear polish from Sally Hansen as well. It is the Hardest Nails Extreme Wear uh, Nail Polish in the color 109 Invisible, but you can use any kind of clear polish. So now we're gonna paint it over. This is my favorite part because it just clears it. I mean, not clears it, it smooths it all out. It's just so satisfying. I just, oh, gosh, nut. <laughs> it just smooths it all out. It's all right, and that is how you get the ombre nails just using press on nails and some nail polish so I'm gonna go away and I'm going to do the other hand and then to clean up around the nails I use a q-tip and some nail polish remover so nail polish remover and I just go around the edge like this Just to clean it up, just a little bit. And there you have it folks. I'm gonna go away and do my other hand and then we're gonna be in business. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.